Stepping Up, a two-part video series for teenagers and young adults with sickle cell disease. My dream job is actually joining the Air Force and flying F-15s for the United States Air Force. Uh, sickle cell got in the way. <laughs> How I got to wanting to make video games from flying jets was there's a game series that's pretty much uh, a little bit of a flight simulator, a little bit of a, an arcade game, but it gave you a taste of what it would be like to be a fighter pilot. I wanted that, but also being a gamer, that side of me, I said, you know, I could probably live this dream through a virtual space and have the same amount of thrill. Kids like me who have sickle cell disease have been working to stay healthy all our lives, but it can get tougher as we age and we need to be ready. Sickle cell disease is a disease that you're born with. It's a disease that you have until the day you die. And it's a disease that is chronic in nature and for many patients becomes more debilitating with age. Meaning that you may do great as a young infant who's six months or 12 months of age and you may not see many overt manifestations of the disease. But as you get older, things start to happen inevitably for most patients. And that chronic burden of disease accumulates over time. Transition is a time when kids with sickle cell disease are learning how to manage their health in their own care. Kevin's story is an example. The times that I wasn't taking very good care of myself was the time I went off of hydroxyurea, the main medicine that uh, suppresses the effects that sickle cell can have on a human body. It wasn't a good time at all. Uh, I had pain crisis more frequently. They were a lot more, they were a lot higher. Kevin stopped taking his medicine without telling anyone. What made me go off of hydroxyurea was a question in my head, a little voice saying, am I really benefiting off of this medicine? His doctors described how hydroxyurea could help him live longer with less pain. His mother encouraged him to take responsibility for his own health care and make his own decision. It hit me pretty hard to know that she actually gave me that freedom to choose something that could split my life into two different stories. But it did feel good to have that kind of say in my own life, you know. Um, but I chose a safer road and went back on hydroxyurea. The advice that I would give to a young person with, with sickle cell disease is to just have confidence that you do know yourself, you do know your body, but you also need to listen to your providers and understand that you really are in a partnership with your healthcare providers, with your family, with your teachers. You aren't in this alone. We're here to support you.